Hi everyone, welcome to the RP Resonance Chemistry. Now let us continue the, our lectures on general organic chemistry. But today we are dealing with uh, some other important topic in uh, GOC. That is, this is also part of GOC, but uh, many of the uh, like uh, teachers, they are teachers. It is a different topic, but it is a uh, one of the topic of GOC. Okay. Now let's move on to the new topic. That is nothing but aromaticity. So that is nothing but aromaticity. Today our topic is aromaticity. Aromaticity. Okay. So now let's uh, let's discuss on the like very first uh, very first decades uh, topic of the aromaticity. Now in previous cases, so a compound which having the like a, a compounds is, is like a simple substance. We don't know the substance name or chemical formula. So the substance which having the like a sweet smell odor is a sweet sweet smell. Okay, so many of the scientists they are observed some of the compounds which having the like a sweet odor. So those type of sweet odor compounds are called as aromatic compounds. So those are sweet compounds are called as aroma. So aroma is nothing but a like a, a Greek word of a sweet compounds, sweet sweetness. Okay, sweetness is nothing but aroma. Nowadays, aroma caves are arrived in like uh, many of the major major cities. Okay, so aroma is nothing but a sweet. Okay, so aroma. So the compound, the substance which which having the like a sweet odor, those are called as aroma. It, it is the first decades, first previous decades. Okay, but later on the cases, some of the like uh, one of the scientists, Alexander, they are introduced the molecule which having the like a uh, structural formula C six H S H, which having the like a sweet smell. So the compounds which having the these type of cyclic structures and these type of properties those compounds are named as aromatic compounds those compounds named as aromatic compounds but so this is the first type now this is the second type so c6h6 is there then it is called as a, like aromatic compounds that means uh, six uh, six six carbons so six hydrogens are participated in the delocalization those type of molecules are called as aromatic compounds but uh, later on the cases uh, it is again classified as not only these type of molecules not only sweetness of molecules some of the molecules uh, which shown the like different different properties for example so uh, alkene is there different different properties those type of different properties exhibited compounds are also called as aromatic compounds so now uh, what are the those deviations so the deviation number one so some of the molecules alkene is there so whenever it is undergoes the like a like a bromine water so it gives the like a dihalo alkene alkene becomes alkene that means unsaturated compounds will give the saturated test unsaturated compounds will give the addition test but uh, here the benzene so here it is the like it is the unsaturation degree of unsaturation is 4 okay now here it is a higher degree of unsaturation so higher degree of even though it having the higher degree of unsaturation but it cannot give the addition reaction okay now this is the first deviation first deviation now the second point now whenever it is the oh functionality oh functionality so those oh functionality which is connected to the alkyl groups that means like in the form of methanol or in the form of ethanol okay so it is not much of acidic okay it is not much of acidic but whenever those group which is attached to the like uh, aromatic compounds those groups which is uh, attached to the like these type of compounds now here it is uh, it's only like acidic in nature it's only acidic in nature okay so now here the compound which is connected to the like uh, OH groups which can create the more acidic here more acidity which can create the acidity this is the second deviation now the third point is so those compounds are very stable those compounds lifetime is more and more that means very stable compounds okay now these type of deviations are observed so those deviated compounds are also called as like a, uh, those deviated compounds are aromatic compounds but uh, these are the like a uh, very assumption like a uh, assumptionized uh, theory sorry but uh, Nowadays, some of the compounds which follows the certain rules, those compounds are called as aromatic. Otherwise, it is called as different different types: anti-aromatic, quasi-aromatic, homo-aromatic, non-aromatic compounds. Okay. Now let's move on to the those points which are said to be aromatic or non-aromatic or anti-aromatic. Now let's move on to the topic. Okay, 
Now let's move on to the those points. Okay. First of all, a system. It's said to be either aromatic or anti-aromatic. So now here it retrieves. Definitely, it should be in cyclic model. It definitely it should be in cyclic model. That is the major criteria. Now the second criteria. It is conjugated. So that is nothing but a like a delocalized. Okay, delocalized. Now here it is the system. It will be like a benzene system. Okay, let us assume here it is the benzene system. So it can be written as like this. Okay, so here it, this is the p orbitals. So conjugation means uh, like a uh, alternative p orbitals, S like a uh, this is the uh, like a benzene ring. Double bond, double bond, double bonds. So alternative double bonds are called conjugated double bonds. Okay, now here it is the alternative double bonds. So here alternative double bonds of each and a p orbital, each and every p orbital, which is conjugated with a two adjacent atoms this is the right atom this is the left atom it is possible it ca it can be possible to exhibit the conjugation of each and every p orbital with the adjacent to two atom adjacent to two p orbitals then only it is delocalized then only it is delocalized now here it is the delocalization takes place so now let's move on to the another one like here it is the like a this type of molecule this is the molecule okay now let's let's discuss the like a p orbital orientation of the molecule so double bond like p orbital p orbital p orbital p orbital p orbital okay now here it is the de uh, delocalized 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 so the middle four atoms which are, which satisfies the above rule that means uh, so one of the p orbital which can conjugate it with adjacent two atoms so this is uh, adjacent with the two atoms now this is uh, conjugated with adjacent two p orbitals this is conjugated with adjacent two p orbital this is also satisfied but uh, the two terminals which conjugated with only one atom so those type of molecules are non-delocalized. Okay, those type of molecules cannot be calculated in the like aromatic nature, aromatic in compounds. Okay, that means uh, each and every com compound which having the delocalization, each and every carbon which are participated in the delocalization. That is the like uh, delocalized compounds. Now the third one, so that is the system should be planar. System should be planar. So the, all the compounds are delocalization. That indicates all are in the planar molecule all are in the same plane all are in the same plane if system which obeys the delocalization that means it is the planar that means it is the planar so among these compounds uh, certain rules are needed so those rules are nothing but a uh, huckel's rule huckel's rule okay so the, he is the quantum uh, quantum scientist so huckel's rule of quantum physics scientist okay huckel suggested some of the compounds which having the certain electrons so those are exhibited the aromatic in nature some of the compounds uh, which having the certain electrons uh, those are exhibited in the no anti aromatic in nature so other than those compounds all are non aromatic okay so this is the huckel's rule Okay, so Huckel's rule is not valid for the, all the type of molecules. We know that the classification of molecules. So this is the organic compounds. So organic compounds are classified into like a, a cyclic compounds, cyclic compounds. Okay, so cyclic compounds are again classified into two types, Car like a carbocyclic compounds, heterocyclic compounds. Okay, now again carbocyclic compounds classified into two types, alicyclic compounds, alicyclic compounds aromatic compounds again aromatic compounds two types benzenoid compounds non-benzenoid compounds non-benzenoid compounds okay now heterocyclic have the same type of character so we don't know whether it is aromatic or non-aromatic so that's why we need a, so like benzenoid structure or non-benzenoid structure now here it is the benzenoid so benzene ring so this is the like a dicyclic bicyclic tricyclic these type of molecules are polycyclic compounds okay so the polycyclic system which having the benzene structure those compounds are called as benzenoid structures okay now the polycyclic system which does not having the benzene so those are called as non-benzenoid structures those are called as non-benzenoid structures so these are compounds are non-benzenoid structures okay so huckel's rule not valid for the non-benzenoid structure huckel's rule not valid for the non-benzenoid structures non-benzenoid structures that's why it requires another rule that is the fifth rule is nothing but craig's rule so it is uh, valid for the only non-benzenoid structures now let's move on to the this huckel and craig's rule very detailed analysis
Okay. Now, the first part, uh, who could sue? Who could sue? So, according to Hukul, he suggests the two rules. That is, the first one is 4n plus 2 pi electronic system. So the system which has the 4n plus 2 pi electrons, that means uh, four, if n is equal to like 0, 1, 2, 3, and so on, etc. It is an integer. It is an uh, integer. So, many of the students, they are calculated n is equal to number of pi bonds, number of pi electrons. That is wrong. Absolutely wrong. Okay. n is nothing but it is any integer, any number. Okay. Now, if n is equal to 0, now, 4n plus 2 is equal to how many electrons? Okay, so here 0 that means 0 plus 2, 2 electrons. If n is equal to 1, 4n plus 2 that means 6 electrons, n is equal to 2, 10 electrons, n is equal to 3, 14 electrons, etc. Okay, so these type of uh, like a 2, 6 pi, uh, 2, 6, 10, 14 type of pi electronic systems are said to be aromatic. Okay, which obeys the like a previous three rules that means um, cyclic compounds, it, it, it should be in planar. Uh, it is participated in the like a delocalization. So those three um, along with the uh, Hukul's 4n plus 2, then system said to be aromatic. Okay, so this is the aromatic. Now again the second rule that is a 4n pi electronic system. That means a 4n means if n is equal to 0, it is the 0. Okay, n is equal to 1, 4 electrons, 2, 8 electrons, 3, 12 electrons, etc. Okay, so the if n is equal to 4n pi electrons, then it's said to be anti-aromatic. Anti aromatic. So this is the new terminology, aromatic and anti-aromatic. Now let us discuss the third, that is the, like not the third rule, that is another rule, that is the Craig's rule. We don't know the Craig's rule. Okay, so Craig's rule is applicable for the non benzoid system. Okay, first of all, the f first point, now let us write the, like, uh, pre uh, few points regarding to the Craig's rule. So first of all, a system which possesses with C2 axis of symmetry. C2 axis of symmetry. So C2 symmetry is nothing but uh, here it is the molecules. Okay, one is the blue pen, one is the uh, like black. So this is the molecule. Okay, so let us assume here it is the water molecule. Now I'll apply the like uh, one one imaginary axis through the molecule. Now I'll rotate the one time. So that means black atom replaced by the blue, blue atom replaced by the black. Okay. Now again one more rotation will give the same molecule. Okay. Uh, first time uh, the black is uh, present at the right side and uh, blue is present at the left side. So two rotations will give the same type of uh, molecule, same type of uh, arrangement. So how many types of rotations are required to uh, to get the same type of molecule? Those rotations are called uh, CN number of axis of rotations. CN axis of rotation. Now here it requires uh, two rotations. So two rotations is nothing but C2, uh, C2 rotations. Like that. So if any molecule which has Having the C2 axis of symmetry, that is the first criteria. C2 axis of symmetry, that means uh, first of all, C2 axis of symmetry applied. Apply the C2 axis of symmetry. Now, the second point so after getting the C2 axis of symmetry, write the write their resonating structure. Write their resonating structure. So, after writing the, their resonating structure, okay, calculate the like a uh, number of pi bonds. Calculate the number of pi bonds minus 1. So calculate the number of pi bonds minus 1, which is equal to the even or odd. So if it is equal to the even, then it's said to be like a aromatic, which is not equal to the even. That means a, which is equal to the odd, it is non-aromatic. It is non-aromatic. So in case of Craig's rule, it cannot anti-aromatic. Never, it never anti-aromatic so this is the rules okay now first of all apply the c2 axis of symmetry then write the resonating structures then calculate the number of pi bonds minus one if it is equal to the even then it's said to be aromatic it is odd non-aromatic so if system which uh, never exhibited the in case of Craig's rule anti-aromaticity anti-aromaticity now let us assume that here it is the pentaline molecule so this is the like double bonds or the double bonds Okay, now let us apply the C2 axis of symmetry. C2 axis of symmetry, it, it having the, it possesses the more number of like a, uh, like a center of the gravity. It possesses with the center of gravity. Now let us apply the C2 axis of symmetry. That means it is rotated. Now here it is the like pantaline structure, pantaline structure. So the rotation will leads to the double bond over here. So after the rotation, now here it is the another double bond. So after the rotation, it is the double bond. It is the double bond. Okay. It is the double. So this is the C2 rotation of the country molecule. So after the C2 rotation can write the like the resonating structure. The resonating structure that means here these type of resonance. 
So if you have any doubts, then please refer to the res uh, like a uh, uh, resonating uh, resonating structure that is mesomeric effect in GOCH. Okay. So here the double bond. So here it is the like a double bond, double bond, double bond. Okay. Now so the A is equal to the C. Let us label it as A, B, C. Okay. So after writing the resonating structure, if A is equal to the C, then only it is applicable. A is equal to the C. Now if calculate the number of electrons, number of pi electrons, number of pi bonds, here it is 4. 4 minus 1 is equal to 3. So it is the odd number. So odd compounds are non-aromatic. Okay, so those type of compounds are non-aromatic. So this is the like a Craig's rule. This is the like a Craig's rule. Now let's move on to the uh, like a, another th another thing that is the calculation of the pi bonds. Okay. Now, many of the students, they are suffered with calculation of pi electrons. That's why I'll discuss the uh, like number of pi electrons calculation. After that, we'll go through the like classification of aromaticity. Okay. So, first of all, uh, now let's move on to the like a calculation of pi electrons. Calculation of pi electrons. Okay. So, the first of all, pi electrons is nothing but double bonds. So, here double bond means uh, one is the like a carbon-carbon single bond. So, another, win, another one is nothing but uh, like a partial overlapping. Okay, these partial overlapping will lead to the delocalization. Okay, delocalized electrons, delocalized pi bonded electrons can only calculated here. Okay, now here one pi bond means two electrons. Only one bond is delocalized. Only one bond is participated in the delocalization. That's why here two electrons can only calculate it. Now in case of triple bond, so triple bond means here it is the carbon carbon single bond. Now the second bond is like a p orbital. So here it is the one pi bond. Now the third bond is like a which which is uh, like perpendicular to the uh, another second pi bond perpendicular to the second pi bond now here it is the like first pi bond like this second pi bond like this okay this is the first pi bond now the second pi bond these two are perpendicular to each other okay so if in, if it is participated the above molecule participated in the delocalization that means uh, these molecules which is surrounded by the adjacent atoms so these are perpendicular to each other okay now the uh, like top of the molecules which are participated with uh, now here is one atom another atom th uh, third fourth uh, like those type of atoms so if it is participated like this delocalization these are perpendicular to the those the delocalization atoms that's why these electrons cannot calculated over here okay so here only two electrons in case of triple bond also we will calculate it the only two electrons that is the like a double and triple bond now another case lone pairs calculation okay lone pair electrons so many of the students they are suffered with this type of lone pair calculation okay now i'll give the very simple example so let us assume here it is the atom okay uh, not not the oxygen let us assume here it is the one electronegative atom is there which having the like more than one lone pairs let us assume two lone pairs are there okay so how many lone pairs are calculated in the like pi electrons okay now here one lone pair that means here it is the atom okay so all atom have the like their pi electrons okay now here one pi electrons another pi electrons definitely it is participated so here he having the two electron two two pair of lone pair of electrons doesn't matter so only one is participated in the delocalization we will calculate the only delocalized electrons okay so that's why these lone pairs are not calculated so only one lone pair is there so those are participated in the delocalization so here in this case one lone pair is only calculated one lone pair is calculated okay now so this is the system now the second one here it is the like a second type of molecules here it is having the lone pairs but it is it is participated with a double bond it is already participated in the double bond let us assume that the, here these type of uh, molecules so that this is the p orbital p orbital p orbital p orbital p orbital p orbital okay now here the nitrogen are having the another orbital that is the lone pair of electrons okay so it is participated one of the p orbital which is participated in the delocalization but uh, these lone pairs oriented perpendicular to the those uh, those delocalized electrons those delocalized orbitals okay so the lone pairs which is which is oriented in the perpendicular to the like oriented molecule oriented delocalized pi orbital electrons that's why so these lone Pairs. whenever the system whenever the atom which is already participated in the double bonds those lone pairs cannot calculate it cannot uh, calculate it okay so here it is a uh, not participated to the double bonds then those electrons are calculated even though it having the more than one lone pair so only one lone pair is calculated okay so now i'll say the those uh, those point very simply so here it is the like a cyclic molecule 
so cyclic molecule having the like a double bond so this is the double bond which is which having the like this type of heteroatom okay so those lone pairs are calculated those lone pairs are calculated okay but here the molecule which is already participated in the double bond it even though it having the lone pairs those lone pairs are non -cal not calculated not calculated this is the second point okay now let's move on to the another things okay now some of the periplanar ring okay so now here it is the double bonds double bond double bond, alternative double bonds that is the conjugated double bond. now here it atom having the like a uh, lone pairs okay now here the lone pairs which is calculated in in the like pi electronic cloud or not okay which is the hukul rule pi electrons or not we don't know okay so you, these type of molecules which having the like this is the like peri 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 ring this is the peri peri ring okay now in case of delocalization those peri peri orbitals can only participate in. those peri peri orbitals those peri peri orbital electrons can only participate in. so the middle electrons cannot participate in. the middle electrons are not a uh, hukul rule not hukul pi bonds these are the non hukul pi bonds non hukul pi bonds okay so the middle atoms cannot participate in the hukul pi electronic calculation but peri peri ring atoms peri peri ring pi electrons can only calculate it not only lone pairs so even it having the like these type of double bonds are also pi bonds are also there so those pi bonds are not calculated those pi bonds are not calculated over here okay so these pi bonds are non hukul pi bond non hukul pi bond non hukul double bonds those are not calculated in case of hukul hukul pi electronic system hukul pi electronic system now let's move on to the like a classification how to identify the molecule whether it is aromatic or non aromatic or anti aromatic or homo or quasi aromatic let's move on to the original topic of aromaticity okay this is the very basic concept now let's move on to the like a interesting topic on aromaticity Okay, now let's move on to the identification of aromaticity. Identification of aromaticity. Aromaticity. Okay, now so aromaticity is different different types. I think line is not uh, clear. Okay, now first of all, this is the aromatic compounds. Okay, now the second type. This is the like uh, anti aromatic compounds. So, the third class, third category. So, that is the non aromatic compounds. So, remaining compounds are also there. So, now later on, later on the case, so we will discuss the like a uh, quasi aromatic ho homo aromatic. So, first of all, aromatic compounds, anti aromatic, non aromatic. So, the first thing is aromatic is nothing but so first of all system should be cyclic that is not mandatory for each and every case so we don't write the those cases if it is a cyclic then only like a, a aromatic compounds then only it is possible to exhibit the aromaticity that is the mandatory okay now the first thing is like a hukul according to the hukul 4n plus 2 pi electronic system 4n plus 2 pi electronic system that is the major criteria now the second so all are all are in sp2 hybridization so sp2 then only it is having the vacant p orbital so those p orbitals are participated in the delocalization those p orbitals are participated in the delocalization that is in the form of uh, delocalization sp2 is nothing but uh, that is in the form of delocalization sp2 sometimes sp is also there that means triple bond okay double bond is sp2 so double bond is nothing but sp2 triple bond is sp so even though triple bond here only one pi electrons only one pi bond are, uh, electrons are participated that's why so sp2 sp is the minimum criteria now the third one delocalization so if molecule having the like all type of sp2 and sp it is participated in the delocalization that is in the form of planar okay so if a system which having the these three types of rule which will be these three type of rule then it's said to be aromatic then it's said to be aromatic now in case of anti-aromatic so the first rule is deviated that means 4n pi electron hukul 4n so the second and the third is the same sp2 sp now the third is uh, like a delocalization 
as well as pleura, delocalization as well as pleura. That is, then it's said to be anti-aromatic. Then it's said to be anti-aromatic. Now let's move on to the non-aromatic. So lack of any one of the these lack of any one of any one of aromatic and anti-aromatic uh, rules. Aromatic and anti-aromatic rules. Then it's said to be non-aromatic. Okay, so even odd number of electrons are also there. That is also non-aromatic case. Okay, so this is the three cases. One is the system. It it is a focal four n plus two sp two delocalization. Four n pi sp two delocalization. Now lack of any le electrons. That means uh, uh, aromatic and uh, anti-aromatic rules. Uh, then it's said to be like non-aromatic. So majority of the cases are non-planar compounds. Simply. So non planar compounds, odd number of electrons, odd number of electrons, sp3 carbon atoms, those are comes under non-aromatic in nature. Non-aromatic in nature. Now, so before going to the some of the examples, exercise meant problems. Now let us discuss the stability of these these three types, three type of molecule. So here is the, the best example. So one one example that is the benzene. Okay, so here number of pi electrons are six, six, three pi bonds. That means six electrons. Okay, each bond uh, electrons are two. Okay, six electrons. All are sp two. So according to the hybridization, this is a double bond attached carbons are sp two, sp two, sp two, sp two. Okay, now sp two, sp two, sp two. All are sp two. So the second rule is also obeyed. Now the third rule it is participated in the delocalization. That's why it is planar molecule. So planar. So if three rules are obeyed, then it is aromatic. Then it is aromatic. Okay, now this is the aromatic compounds. Here the same case. So here also it is a one comma three comma five hexa triene hexa triene. It is not cyclic molecule. So here it is the like a uh, six pi electrons. All are sp two. Like a uh, it is a planar or not planar it doesn't matter. So uh, six pi electrons sp two, but it is not a cyclic molecule. Okay, so this is the cyclic molecule. So the aromatic. Uh, cyclic molecules more stable than the acyclic molecules so aromatic more stable than the like acyclic molecules stability order now in case of aromaticity so the best example is like uh, anti aromaticity the best example is uh, 1,3 cyclic butadiene 1,3 cyclo butadiene so here it is the four electrons four electrons is nothing but a four and pi system four electrons this is the four pi system now in case of uh, acyclic moiety that is uh, 1 comma 3 butadiene 1 3 butadiene so here the acyclic moiety is more stable than that of the anti aromatic acyclic more stable than that of the anti aromatic okay this is the very clear now let's move on to the non aromatic so here if the system like uh, if system it having the like pi bonds so like this type of molecules let us assume whatever it may be okay so here it is the system double bond double bond here it is the like uh, two are sp3 carbons okay so in case of acyclic compounds this is the acyclic so this is the molecule okay now here this is the non aromatic acyclic molecule non aromatic similar type of pi electronic containing acyclic molecule so in case of non aromatic and acyclic molecules uh, both are same like similar stability is observed similar stability is observed so this is the stability okay now uh, aromatic compounds more stable than the acyclic here it is the anti aromatic less stable than the acyclic so non aromatic are mean like uh, moderately similar stabilization so based on that we will arrange the stability order so aromatic is more stable than that of the like non aromatic non aromatic is more stable than that of the anti aromatic anti aromatic this is the stability order so stability order so not only stability order which is also a resonance energy order resonance energy order so this is the overall description regarding to the aromatic and the anti aromatic non aromatic now let's move on to the some of the exercise some of the examples Okay, now here let's move on to the some of the uh, like uh, major examples. We have discussed one one example. So now let's move on to the carbocations, carbenions, carbon free radical examples. Carbocation, 
like a carbon free radical carbon ion so these type of examples now before going to the those compound so plus means how many electrons zero electrons like a, a radical means one electron negative means two electrons negative means two electrons so these two are the sp2 this is the like sp3 we know that so even though it is sp3 carbon atom but it is participated in the delocalization that is the main criteria so sp2 is the like a landmark so let us assume that here it is the sp2 then only it is possible for the delocalization in case of carbon atoms but is the uh, those are the neutral atoms these are this like a charged species in case of charged species sp3 atom can also participate in the delocalization then it is also like kind of considered as a, like a similar to the sp2 that means it is the like a delocalized electrons even though it is sp3 but it is participated in the delocalization that's why carbon ion and so are are considered to be aromatic sometimes okay so if it is carbon carbon ion is there so those carbon ions are considered to be like sp2 arbon sp2 atoms okay now let's move on to the cyclic molecules as a carbocation and a carbon ion so the cyclic is started with three member ring that's why i'll go through the three member ring so here it is the three member so here it is the like first of all carbocation three membered carbon ion Three membered carbon free radical, three membered neutral system. Neutral system. So first of all, we will calculate the number of pi electrons. So here only two electrons plus means zero electrons. Two electrons. Two plus two, four electrons. That means one pi bond or two electrons, a negative two electrons. Now here two plus one, three electrons. Here only two electrons. Now the second case, all are sp two, sp two, sp two. sp2 okay here it is the uh, carbon uh, carbon ion is sp3 but in case of aromaticity it is considered to be sp2 why because it is participated in the delocalization here sp2 is not mandatory so delocalization is the mandatory that's why it is assumed as a sp2 okay now here sp3 so that's why it is a non aromatic okay so any one of the lack lack of any one of the rule from aromatic and non aromatic uh, anti aromatic then it's say to be uh, like non aromatic okay now here odd number of electrons that's why this is also non aromatic This is also non-aromatic. Now let's move on to the like uh, these two compounds. So here it is sp2 planar molecule, sp2 planar molecule. Okay. So two electrons, whether it is hookle four n plus two or four n, here it is the four n plus two. Now I'll draw the, uh, draw the table two six ten fourteen eighteen. So this is the four n plus two, like zero four eight ten uh, like twelve sixteen is the four n. Okay, so this is the fourth table, fourth plus two table, fourth table, fourth plus two table. Okay, so let us assume. Okay, for fourth table plus two. Okay, now here it is the two electrons is the four n plus two, four electron is the four n. So four n plus two, then it's said to be aromatic. So four n is the anti aromatic. Four n is the anti aromatic. So like this, we will calculate the whether system is aromatic or anti aromatic. Now let us move on to the four membered system. Okay, I think it is clear. So three membered. cyclic cationic system is the aromatic anion system is the anti aromatic radical is the non aromatic now let's move on to the 4 5 6 member rings okay now let us go okay now the four member ring so here it is the four member cyclobutadiene so four member with two cations four member with two anions okay let's move on to the like four member rings and a five member ring so here it is the five membered cation so the five membered with the anion like five membered with the radical okay five membered with radical now the six membered only one ring there is no positive or negative charge let's do okay so let's move on to the these problems Okay, now here the four member ring. That means here are two of four electrons are there. Four electrons means uh, uh, here it is the first of all calculate the pi electrons. Four electrons, so two electrons. So two plus two plus two. That means six electrons. Okay, so four electrons is nothing but four n plus four n pi electrons. Here two means four n plus two pi electrons. Six means four n plus two. I think it is very clear. Okay, four n pi electrons. Sp two planar. All are sp two. All are planar. Sp two planar. Sp2 planar. All the rules are same. Okay. Now Sp2 planar with 4n. This is the anti-aromatic system. This is the anti-aromatic. 4n plus 2 Sp2 planar. This is aromatic system. This is aromatic. Here also 4n plus 2 Sp2 planar. This is aromatic. Okay, so in case of four-membered ring with a dication or dianion, it is aromatic. But a four-membered uh, one-three butadiene is an anti-aromatic. Now, in case of five-membered ring, let's move on to the calculation of electrons. Here, four electrons. 
2 2 4 electrons plus is 0 electrons 2 plus 2 4 plus 2 6 electrons here 5 electrons that means the odd number of electrons odd number of electrons so is not non aromatic so this is the non aromatic okay now let's move on to the 4 electrons and 6 electrons so 4 electrons is nothing but equal 4 and pi electrons root 6 electrons is equal 4 and plus 2 pi electrons root so all are sp2 sp2 planar planar so let us uh, like uh, let us describe the whether it is aromatic or anti aromatic 4n means anti aromatic like 4n plus 2 means aromatic 4n plus 2 means aromatic let us imagine in case of three membered ring cation is the aromatic in case of four membered ring dication dianion is the aromatic but in case of a five membered ring anion is the aromatic so that is called cyclopentadienyl anion which is used in the ferrocene molecules which is used in the ferrocene molecule we know that uh, benzene is aromatic or not aromatic this is a like very serious question now uh, a six pi electrons six pi electrons all are sp2 localized that's why it is aromatic that's why it is aromatic now let's move on to the seven membered and eight member ring so after that we will finish with the two day class seven and eight member then we discuss the like homo aromaticity and uh, like a uh, quasi aromaticity okay now let's move on to this seven member and the eight member ring so seven member ring this is the like a seven member okay cation Seven member ring with anion, seven member ring with radical or neutron system. Radical or with the neutral system, whatever it is. So, so here one comma three comma five like uh, these type of molecules are uh, like uh, three uh, three double bonds are there. Simply, it is called as a tropelium cation. Tropelium cation. Okay, this is the tropelium cation, tropelium anion, tropelium radical, seven member rings. Okay, now here 2 plus 2 plus 2, 6 pi electrons. Here 2 plus 2 plus 2, 6 plus 2, 8 electrons. Here 2 plus 2 plus 2 plus 1, that is a 7 electrons. Odd, it is a non aromatic. Odd, it is a non aromatic. Now let us discuss the 6 electron and pi electron. 6 electron is the 4n plus 2 pi electronic system. 8 electron is the 4n pi electronic system. All are sp2 sp2 all are sp2 means double bond attached carbon is sp2 that's why i'll write the sp2 so here it is the planar here it is the planar so that's why all the, it, the, it obeys the all three rules regarding to the aromatic that's why it is aromatic so it obeys the anti-aromatic rules that's why it is anti-aromatic yeah yeah anti-aromaticity so this is the molecule now let's move on to the like eight member ring cyclo octa tetrene cyclo octa tetrene so that means a four double bond so this is the tetrine. Now let us imagine. So here it is the tetrine. In case of tetrine, so here it is the like a four 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 pi bonds means eight electrons. Eight electrons means four n pi electronic system. All are sp two. Like it is a planar. This is our assumption. Okay. That is first rule, second rule, third rule is obeyed. So four n pi electronic system. This is anti aromatic. This is anti aromatic. So let's do like this. So you will ask your marks. This is wrong. This is wrong. Why? Because so we know that it is a four n pi electronic system, but it is a sp two system, but it is not a planar. It is not a planar. Why? Because the original shape of cycloocta tetrene is like this. So the original shape of cycloocta tetrene is like this. So that's why here it seems to be a, like a tub shape. It is a tub shape. So top shape means it is a non, not a planar. Okay. Now let us assume here it is the end. So here it is the one pen. Here it is the one pen. Okay. Now here it is the one double bond. Here one double bond. Here one double bond. Like uh, here the upside is one double bond. Okay. So this is not a not planar. This is not a planar molecule. So if it is a molecule is said to be planar, then only delocalization is participated. Delocalization is possible. So here it is the non-planar molecule. How can it be possible for the delocalization? That's why a non-planar molecule cannot participate in the delocalization. So non-planar molecule due to the non-planarity, due to the non-planarity, it is non-aromatic. It is non-aromatic, not the aromatic, not the anti-aromatic. It is non-aromatic. So here it is the non-aromatic system. These type of exceptions uh, may be accepted in the like uh, the, like lower level degrees like MSc entrance, uh, JE mains classes. Okay, it is a very helpful for the uh, like uh, lower lower competitive exams that is MSc entrance test. Okay, now let's move on to the other examples. So here it is the like in case of uh, eight member ring, eight member ring with uh, two positives, 
एट नंबर है विथ टू नेगेटिव विथ टू नेगेटिव ओके नाउ हियर सो टू पॉजिटिव दैट मीन्स जीरो इलेक्ट्रॉन जीरो इलेक्ट्रॉन थ्री पाई वन और सिक्स इलेक्ट्रॉन सिक्स इलेक्ट्रॉन मीन्स फोर एन प्लस टू फाइव इलेक्ट्रॉन इन केस ऑफ थर्टी एंड इट इज द टब शेप बिकम्स प्लेनर वाली क्यू the tub becomes a planar cations are anions the tub shape becomes a planarity that's why 4n plus 2 pi electronic system sp2 it is planar the planar is the mandatory that's why it is aromatic in nature that's why it is aromatic in nature now here also the tub shape becomes a planarity in presence of like uh, anions formation now here 10 electrons sp2 planar that's why it is also aromatic it is also aromatic but uh, many of the like uh, higher level higher level students they need these type of uh, knowledge now here it is the like eight member thing okay double bond so here it is the negative charge over there negative charge over there double bond that means here it is the like a resonating structure here it is the resonating structure now here it is the double bond like to a dianion of cyclooctatriene okay cyclooctatriene dianion of cyclooctatriene okay but both are the same here both of the uh, pi electrons are 10 pi electrons like it is sp2 planar molecule that's why it is also aromatic now both are aromatic but among these two which is more stable both are aromatic so among these two th these two aromatic compounds which is more stable that is the major like uh, difficult questions the, that is the difficulty level of the questions okay now here both are the same type of molecule same type of pi, pi electrons same type of aromaticity but the negative charge position is different so here due to the adjacent adjacent negative charge it is a repulsive repulsive forces are applied that's why one they like uh, labeled as one and two so here it is that due to the adjacent Position of a di-negative ions, it is the ripple to each other. Now the far away position of the di ions, it is the more stable molecule. So second is the more stable than that of the first one. So this is the stability of the these type of questions are susceptible in the like a net or gate type of questions. Okay. Now let's move on to the like a quasi aromaticity and homo aromatic molecule. I think it is clear. Okay. Now let's move on to the quasi and the anti aromatic uh, like a homo aromatic compounds. okay now let us discuss the fourth and fifth type of aromatic compounds we are discussed uh, already we are discussed about uh, like aromatic non aromatic anti aromatic this is the fourth one homo aromatic fifth one is quasi aromatic so that is the fourth one homo aromatic homo aromatic system so in case of homo aromatic compounds so all the all the atoms are carbon sp2 carbon but only one is sp3 hybridized carbon so one sp3 hybridized carbon is observed one sp3 hybridized carbon hybridized carbon but here these sp3 hybridized carbon these sp3 hybridized carbon exactly lie at exactly force to lie at vertical at vertically exactly vertically at aromatic atoms exactly vertically at aromatic atoms simply so here it is the like a uh, delocalized atoms is there exactly vertically here the place that sp3 aromatic sp3 hybridized atom so this is the like delocalized aromatic atoms so but it is connected to these delocalized aromatic atoms but it is placed at the exact vertical of the these aromatic atoms now let's let's discuss the one of the atom okay now let's move on to the the best example this is the molecule of uh, we know that the molecule name is a cyclooctatriene cyclooctatriene whenever in presence of a concentrated h2so4 so here it creates the negative charge over there so here it creates the positive charge or it may be possible for the like bottom side uh, bottom creates the negative top creates the positive whatever it may be so the negative charge will abstract the proton from concentrated h2so4 now here it becomes uh, like a sp3 atom here it becomes sp3 that means here two hydrogens double bond double bond double bond so here it is the positive that means a cation that means a cation here it having the one hydrogen here it having the one hydrogen so simply the molecular the molecular structure the uh, simply this is the molecular structure of compound so here it is the like these type of molecules as observed okay so this is the molecule that means eight member so here double bond double bond double bond so here it is the cation so here it is the sp3 hybridized atom two hydrogens of that 
sp3 hybridized atom so these are the like a seven membered ring so almost all these are seven membered ring like like this okay so this is the link so here it is the cation so all the cations with pi electrons delocalized like this okay so now three pi bonds one pi one cation that means a six pi electrons six pi electrons shared by the seven atoms that means it is aromatic whatever it may be it is aromatic why because four and plus two pi electronic system that's why it is aromatic but here exact one sp3 position is there so that sp3 position oriented like the exact vertical position exact vertical position then it's said to be home aromatic so like a previous year questions many of the previous year questions they are asking about uh, this type of molecules uh, hydrogens okay now here it is the hydrogen so here it is the like another hydrogen here it is the another hydrogen so simply here it is the ha hb hsc hd ha hb hsc hd so what is the like a so here it is the hd let us assume so what is the delta value so nmr delta value so now i'll upload the another video on the specific aromatic nmr values aromatic like um, uh, nmr in aromatic compounds now i'll go through the those uh, video if it is possible next video is the like uh, those aromatic in h and uh, h1 nmr okay now here it is the four four atoms are there so write the uh, arrange the their four delta values that means chemical shift values now simply hd is greater than that of the hc is greater than that of the hb is greater than that of the ha okay if it is possible i'll explain the next video i'll explain very clear explanation so this is the simple homo aromatic compounds homo aromatic compounds so the best examples are like these type of molecules okay simply these type of molecules so this is the home aromatic in case of like a three membered rings like these are the homo aromatic homo aromatic molecules not only like this so these type of like a heteroatom positions this is also a homo aromatic why because these are exactly lined at like this exactly lied at like this so these these molecules are homo aromatic molecules homo aromatic molecules so not only oxygen atom sometimes here it represent the nitrogen nh group also present okay so these are the homo aromatic now let's move on to the final one that is the quasi aromatic final one of the video so the fifth one so that is that is the quasi aromatic compounds Okay, the fifth one is quasi aromatic. Okay, so simply quasi aromatic is nothing but so quasi is nothing but ionic compound, ionic aromatic. Simply it is ionic aromatic compounds are called as quasi aromatic. Okay, now here it is the like cyclopropanone system, cyclopropanone. That means a uh, uh, ketone functionality is there. So cyclopropanone will like uh, will uh, like uh, dissociated like this, partially charged, positive over there, negative on the carbon ion. So whenever which is treated with nucleophile followed by the electrophile, now here it appears like this. Nucleophile attack over there, so uh, electrophile attack over the L, uh, like a uh, more electronegative center. Okay, so this is the like a carbon nucleophile oxygen electrophile. So carbon nucleophile, this is the covalent bond. So covalent bonds we cannot absorb the like those type of uh, like a uh, quasi aromatic nature quasi aromatic nature but in case of uh, like nucleophiles electrophiles those nucleophiles which forms the like ionic bonds so here it is the positive here it is the nucleophile negative so here O minus and E plus so these type of positive and negative that means it is the ionic bond is developed. So these type of ionic bonds present at the like uh, molecules, those ionic bonds with uh, like a positive and negative charge. So those positive negative charge which obeys the aromaticity. So then those type of compounds are called quasi aromatic. Those type of compounds are called quasi aromatic. And now it is uh, appears like this, this type of cation, two electrons, sp2, like planar. So then it's said to be aromatic. So those type of ionic aromatic compounds is simply it is called as quasi aromatic quasi aromatic not only this so like these type of molecules are there like a fluoro compound so which is treated with the sbf5 okay now it leads to the these type of plus and the sbf6 minus sbf6 minus so this is the quasi aromatic compound quasi aromatic compound not only like this so many of the compounds like a tropolonium cations like tropolonium halides which treated with the agb ag like a agno3 silver nitrate now here it leads to the 
propylium cationic system positive okay so this positive having the no3 minus uh, agbr will be precipitated agbr will be precipitated so this type of molecules we observe okay not only these so many of the systems they are they are assumed so here it is the system because they they didn't mention whether it is a carbon ion or carbon cation but this type of molecules they are given or even in the presence of potassium or sodium it gives the some product whether it, those product whether it is aromatic or non aromatic we don't know okay so now the cat uh, metals which lost their electrons and it forms the corresponding cation so those electron which is gained by the h plus and it forms the of h2 of h2 that means here it lost the h plus here it lost the h plus that means the bonded two electrons shifted over there now it creates the negative charge over here negative charge so if i remember the negative charge cyclopentadienyl it is aromatic it is aromatic sometimes they are given in the like this type of three membered system with the potassium will give the this type of product it is anti aromatic it is anti aromatic these type of questions are susceptible okay so that's all for this video this is this contains how to calculate the pi electrons as well as hukul rule craig's rule finally the identification of aromatic anti aromatic non aromatic homo aromatic quasi aromatic compounds so in next video we will discuss the like a proton enamor in aromatic compounds and their classifications characters now the third video which lead to the like anulins chemistry anulins aromaticity fulvins aromaticity like a other the azulin azulins aromaticity okay thank you so much for watching